how do you trade with no risk? Wouldn't it be great if you could set up a trade that had a great profit potential and you literally could not lose money on it? Does that sound too good to be true? I'm going to show you how you can trade with little or no risk. When you own something that's worth a lot of money, you insure it. You insure your home. You insure your car. Some of you have artwork that you insure. You have jewelry that you insure. Um, when, when something has a, a lot of value to it, you insure it. You know most people have no idea they can insure their stock. When you use a long put option, now if you're, if you're new to the world of options, it's part of what we teach. I don't have time in this presentation to give you a whole lesson on options. Most of you, I, I've found statistically most people that tune into this class and, and, and watch this presentation know something about options. But if you don't, that's okay. We can teach it to you. But a long put option in almost every single way imaginable works like an insurance policy on your home or your car. You pay a premium. You have a value attached to that policy, something that it's good for in terms of replacement value, and it covers a certain period of time. A long put option is exactly the same. It has a premium, a cost to that option. It covers you for a certain period of time, and it covers you at a certain value. And it works kind of like this. If you bought some stock at $100 a share and you went out and bought a long put option, if that stock loses value, the value of the long option goes up in relative proportion. So the stock just lost $50 from $100 down to $50. I've got one of those computer pins that draws on the screen. It's not drawing a very good line. The stock loses value from $100 down to $50. The long put option that you bought becomes worth at least $50. One offsets the other, just like an insurance policy. You've got a $500,000 home, a meteor from outer space lands on it and takes out the west wing of your home. And if your home is going to cost $200,000 to repair, your insurance is going to cover that $200. Your home went down $200,000 in value. Your insurance policy became worth $200,000. Long put option works exactly the same way. The gain in the long put offsets the loss in the stock. So you use it to protect a position. If you were to buy shares of advanced micro devices, now this, I, I did a recording like this about a week ago. So this, the price on this is just a little bit old. Um, advanced micro devices, a little bit higher than that today, but, but this will still demonstrate what it needs to for you. So let me, uh, AMD is trading a little over $51. So it's up a few dollars from where it was. But a week ago, you could have bought advanced micro devices for $48. You could have bought a long put option that would protect it at a value of $48. And you could add a short call to that. Get someone else to pay for your insurance policy. And your total cost would be the price of the stock, the price of the long put, minus the credit you take in on the short call. And your total cost in that trade is lower than what you have the right to sell at. That, folks, is a zero risk trade. From now until the time that long put option expires, you cannot lose money on this trade. And if the stock went up, and someone took it from you at $50 a share because you're taking in that money in exchange for that, you're going to make at least 8% on this trade. Now, that's that's the tip of the iceberg in terms of how much money you can make. I'm going to show you how you can profit in a phenomenal way in just a second on these trades. The important part is the setup and getting into a trade that has zero risk, absolutely 100% zero risk. Okay. Now, I, I know... I already see some questions coming in. I'm going to nip this question right in the butt. We are insuring this trade for a very short period of time. And the question comes up all the time. What do you do after this expires? Well, what do you do when your car insurance expires? You, you pay monthly or you pay semi-annually or you pay annually for the policy. You pay for the next period of time. The difference here is that we're going to insure our stock through a period of uncertainty because we're not out driving that stock like our car every day where other people can bang into it and hit it. We're going to insure it through the earnings report. And once we get past that earnings report and the stock is moving up or the stock is moving down, we'll make an adjustment to the trade. We'll reevaluate our insurance. 
And that's part of what we teach at Safe Option Strategies. And there's not a, I'll show you a little bit of that. There's not a lot of time to get into that right now, but I'll give you an example of what we've done with that recently to help you understand that. But but the the, the answer to the question that some of you are already typing in is that prior to the expiration of this option, we teach you how to adjust the trade. We teach you how to adjust these long puts and we teach you how to adjust these short calls. Okay, now let's expand on this a little bit. Here's how we make a lot more than 8% profit. When we set up this trade and the stock goes down, we take the profit from those long puts and we use that profit from the long puts to buy more shares of stock. You've heard of dollar cost averaging. You buy a share of stock at $100. The stock drops to $50 and you buy another share at $50. So your total investment now is $150 and you have two shares of stock. You've dollar cost averaged from 100 down to 75. Okay, that works fantastic. That's a smart way to trade in the markets until you run out of money because every time you add more shares to bring that average cost per share down, you've got to come up with more money. The long put takes care of that for us. We don't have to come up with more money or the money we have to come up with comes from the profit in the long put. We don't have to add money to our portfolio to be able to cost average down. So when we add that second share of stock and there's no additional investment on our part, our average price per share comes way, way down because we got the first share for $100. We got the second share for zero. The profit here paid for this right here. So we got that second share for zero. So now we have two shares. We still have a net investment of only $100 and our average cost is 50 instead of 75. See the power of that? If, if that stock ever recovered back to $100, we're 100% profitable. And at $50 a share, we're break even in the trade. Now, I want to show you something we did over the last couple of years. Every safe option strategy student that wanted to, every one of them that wanted to, was able to follow this trade to the letter. This is what we did. At possibly the worst time we could have done. And, and we just, we set up this trade going into an earnings report just the way I showed you that AMD trade. We got into shares of Micron in March of 2018 when they were right up here by 60 bucks a share. See that 60 over there? If you look at this chart and you look at how far Micron fell and the fact that they still haven't gotten all the way back up to 60, you would look at that and say, wow, that's a rough ride to be in that stock for that long and not even be back to where it was trading originally. Okay, we got shares of stock in March and we put long puts on them at a 60 strike price and we got 70 strike short calls that were a little farther out in time to pay for them. And when they dropped, we took the profit from those long puts and we used that profit from the long puts to add shares. It was only enough to add 60 shares of stock. So we went from 300 to 360 shares of stock. They had a really nice, really short run back up to around 60 and coincidentally it happened to be time for the next earnings report about three months had gone by they were due for another earnings report and we knew that if earnings wasn't really good there could be some trouble here so just ahead of the next earnings we made sure we had in place 60 strike long puts now we had 360 shares we had to buy four long put contracts and we could only adjust three short call contracts but we teach you how to do this. We manage it all. It worked out. Look what Micron did. Now, we had long puts that were going to expire right here, and we just rolled them out and down, and we still made up for all of that drop in the stock, and we had to adjust long puts again right here, and we still made up for all of that, and the combination of long put profit here and here and here made it to where we were able to sell long puts and add 340 shares of stock. The long puts paid for all that stock. We added 340 shares. We started out with 300, we added 60. Then because of that huge drop, we added another 340. And when the and this is really key, when the stock got back to $42 a share, think about that. That's still down 
$18 per share from where we first bought. You want, you want the math on that? $18 divided by a $60 a share stock. We were at this point in time from where we first bought back here, this stock was still down 30% from where we had gotten in, but we had 700 shares instead of 300 shares. And at $42 a share, they were worth 29,400. 29,400 minus the $18,000 original investment is $11,400 profit. And if you divide that by the $18,000 original investment, when the stock was still down 30% from where we started, we were up 63% in our trade. Now, without going through every single detail of it, we made some adjustments in here. We did the same thing here, added a couple more shares, a couple hundred more shares. We had to make some adjustments here. These adjustments didn't net us a lot of profit. I'll tell you folks right now, the adjustments we made right here, they just kept us from losing money. They did not add to our profit. But with the stock up around $58 a share right now, and with us holding 900 shares, our little $18,000 investment less than two years ago, we're still a couple months shy of two years ago that we got into this trade. Less than two years ago, our $18,000 investment is worth over $52,000 right now. That's $34,200 of profit in less than two years. That is 190% profit in less than two years. Folks, what I just showed you is not this ridiculous pie in the sky. You can take $2,000 and turn it into $2 million. No, that's not what we do. But we took this amount of money and turned it into this amount of money in a little less than two years through a very methodical very duplicatable process. That's one of the biggest keys to what I'm showing you is that you can duplicate this. We showed all of our students a brand new trade that we're going to get into with Under Armour and we did it a little bit different. And I'm gonna show you this really quickly. With 200 shares of stock, three long put contracts right at $20 a share where the stock is trading currently, one long call contract right at $20 where the stock is trading currently and two short call contracts. We set up a trade that would cost a total of $4,027, could not lose more in the wars, in the absolute doomsday worst case scenario. When Under Armour reports their earnings about two weeks from now, the maximum that this trade could lose is $27. When's the last time you had $4,000 plus dollars invested in a trade in the market that the worst thing that could possibly happen if the wheels fell off and the world crashed and the markets crashed and global economies crashed, the worst thing that could happen to you is you could lose $27. Now, you wanna know the best thing that could happen to you? This trade could make over $2,000, whether it goes up or whether it goes down after their earnings report. And this is a company that has a history of some pretty big movements up or down on earnings.